All right, coming down in three, two, <coughs> one. Leon, thanks as always for doing this. It's almost become an annual tradition, uh, <laughs> getting together before the uh, the beginning of the season. Uh, I'm curious where your head is at going into this season. So it's the Oilers, so the expectations are high. Uh, sometimes players come into a season angry. Sometimes players come in happy, relaxed, all of it. Where is your headspace at, knowing the expectations for this Oilers team? Well, expectations are definitely high. Uh, I wouldn't say that I'm angry. I'm, I'm disappointed in how last season went. Uh, I think we all are. But um, with that being said, I'm also looking forward to the season. You know, it's another another great chance at, um, you know, chasing what, what we all want. And um, yeah. so obviously, like I said, a disappointing end. But, um, you know, you got to learn from, from it. There's a reason we, we didn't win and, and get it done. And, um, you know, take, take those lessons and... Um, you know, eventually turn that into something, uh, what, what we all want. Jack Eichel was in that same chair a couple of days ago, and I asked him about that series. And I, and I said, why do you think you guys win? And he said, depth. He said they thought they were just a little deeper than you guys. When you look back, what happened after that series was 2-2? Um, yeah, I mean, they're definitely a really deep team. Uh, there's no doubt. Um, you know, they, they can play their fourth line against any line in, in the league, really. Um, and, and that's a big plus, of course. But um, I think uh, what happened is that we couldn't find, we couldn't get to our top game. Um, and, and I don't know if they did, um, but it just seemed like the last two games, um, you know, there's little little mistakes in game five, a couple penalties um, that, you know, turned the game around. Uh, we were pretty much in full control. Um, and we just shoot ourselves in the foot a little bit. And, and that seems to be, um, yeah, the case a little bit with our team at times. You know, we find ways to lose games. And, um, you know, again, those are the same things that I talk about, uh, you know, talking about learning from them. You know, we got we to gotta grow up, mature, and... and um, you know, learn from him and move on. Someone said to me after that Vegas series, he said, look, I, I know Leon hates to lose, uh, but he said he was particularly miserable after this one, that this one really hurt more, maybe more than some of the previous ones did. Is that fair? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I think we all kind of felt that way. I think that uh, you know, it, it really felt like we we can beat any team. And I, I still stand by that today. You know, that series that could have went either way. It didn't. But, um, you know, we had a really good chance at, at beating Vegas. There's no doubt. And, and we knew that going in, too. But mm -hmm. they just didn't make those little mistakes that we made. And, and that was the difference. You know, they, they, they played just a touch better than we did. Um, so they deserve to move on. Mm -hmm. Uh Change is inevitable. Uh, all teams change in the off season. Do you think you're a better team now than you uh, were last year? I know we haven't played a game yet, but yeah, does it, yeah, does it feel yeah. like it's I'm going to spoil team? this? I'm picking the Oilers to win the Stanley Cup. This year. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks, Elliot. Um, yes, I do think we're a better team. I think we're a more mature team. I think uh, mm -hmm. we've learned um, from from last season. Um, I think Brownie will will really help us. Obviously, we have to give him a little little bit of time, a couple months to 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 get up to speed. But I think he will bring something um, you know really really important to our group. And I think just in general, the feeling around our room is is really positive right now and really good. And we're all excited to to get going and um, you know once again prove that you know we're a top team in the league. Let me, let me get ahead of myself here a little bit because we're <laughs> looking at your team and Elliot's picking the Oilers to win the Stanley Cup. And one of the things that I always wonder about, and I'll use the, the example of the Washington Capitals, when they won the Stanley Cup, it felt like it was really important for them <clears throat> to beat Pittsburgh along the way, that they had to get that out of yeah. there. Like that was a team that was in their head. Do you have a team like that? Like, do you have to beat Vegas along the way? Uh, I don't do think so. Have, is there a team like that? I, I think that the Pittsburgh Washington uh, series was created because of how many times they played each other, you know? Yeah. Uh, so we don't really Crosby, have Ovechkin, that. Right. That, yeah. We don't really have that as of right now. I mean, we keep continue to play LA in the first round, but we overcome them as, as, as much of a grind as it is to, to beat that team. Cause they're a good team, but um, we don't really have that right now. Obviously there's good teams, you know, Vegas is going to be good. LA is going to be good. So you're going to have to go through the, through these teams again. Mm -hmm. And yeah. 
Last year, you told Connor McDavid to be more selfish, <laughs> that he could score 50, yeah. and he got 60. This year, did you tell him to score 1,000? <laughs> I should. Maybe he'll score 80 or something. <laughs> no. Um, you know, it was going to come eventually. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not the guy to take the credit here, even though maybe. <laughs> no, but, um, you know, he, he just gets too many opportunities not to, and, and he knows that. And, and it was just a matter of time until he finds that part of his game. And, um, yeah. Who, who but, knows? Who knows what else can happen? But you you challenge each other, and, I, and and I've heard that that is such a big part of who the Oilers are is that the way you two push each other yeah. to be greater. Yeah. So this summer, how did you guys push each other? What did you guys say to each other? Well, sometimes it's not so much saying. You know, sometimes it's just being on the ice together. You know, we spent pretty much the entire summer together skating, or or a big chunk of it, and. Um, you know, we push each other, we compete against each other and, and we want to beat each other, whether that's little games or whatever it is, or when we play together, you know, we want to dominate and, and, um, you know, it's very healthy, you know, we're really, really good friends. Everybody knows that, but, mm -hmm. um, yeah, he, he makes me better. And, and I would like to, to think that I I've made him a little better over the years too. So it's a very healthy competition. Is there anything that you guys have said? you're going to see this different for me this year, or you're going to see this different from each other this year, or it's like, I'm sort of going for like the same thing. Like you said last year, be more selfish. And he was, and he was yeah. incredible. Have you challenged each other to do something this year? Well, I think for us, it's almost, it's, it's always kind of, um, you know, the defensive side of it, uh, even though, um, you know, I think at times our defensive game gets overlooked a little bit. Um, you know, I think if you watch the games that you, you, if you really look at the games, you can tell that we try to defend every night. Some nights it happens better than other nights, but you know the 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 effort is always there. And um, you know, I think that's always the part of our game that you know we we work on and we we hammer in on. You know, is is the defensive side of it. You know, um, so it, it's going to help our team. Uh, it's going to help us. You know, continue uh, playing playing long into the summer. And um, yeah, just keep keep chipping away at it what was the best one-on-one -on -one competition you and mcdavid had this summer this summer ooh, um man you put me on the spot here <laughs> um i mean we have these um we have these uh weird weird drills where you have to whack a puck off and then stop and and the winner of the race gets a breakaway <sighs> Mm -hmm. It's hard to beat him, man. Like it, he's too <laughs> like it's crazy. Like you think you have him beat, but then he just comes out of nowhere somewhere. So we've 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 had a couple good battles. Do you think he lets you have a lead, and then he just catches up to you and says, "I'm gonna no, let him I think he's gonna think win." He, I, I don't think he's that arrogant. No, I, <laughs> I would like to hope that he doesn't toy with me like that. <laughs> What's your advantage? Because his is obviously speed. Yeah. What's your advantage in that game? Like, is there one thing that you can I, I exploit? Don't, I don't know. Um, maybe, you know, pre protecting the puck from him. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I got a long reach. I got a big, big bum on me. So uh, <laughs> I can stick that out pretty far and keep the puck away. So, yeah. <laughs> I think we have a headline for the interview <laughs> right there, Elliot. Um, when you look around at your division, we've, look, we, we, we've seen this trend away from the central into the Pacific. Um, you know, once upon a time, Central was like, that was it. Like, that was yeah. the best division in hockey, period. Yeah. And now I look at your division and holy smokes, things have changed and they've changed quickly. What do you see when you look around and maybe how much of a wild card is Calgary in all of it? What do you see in your division right now? I mean, listen, the Cup's in the division. You're in the division. Yeah. Seattle's making the playoffs. You mentioned L.A. Like, it's a good division. Yeah, really good. Really, really competitive. I mean, even teams like Vancouver, you know, the, the, if you go look at their roster, I mean, they have everything you need, essentially, to be a successful team, right? So they're going to be good, I think. They're, they're, they're hard to play against. Calgary is going to be competitive, you know that. Seattle is good. LA is good. Vegas is good. We're really good. So it's, it's a tough division, that's for sure. But, um, you know, it makes you better as a group. And, you know, obviously those are the games that you get up for the most. In your captain skates, who looks good? 
lots everyone i honestly have to say everyone looks really really good um a couple of the young guys look really good dylan holloway uh he looks good broberg looks really good right mm. now mm. um obviously you know these skates you can only read so much into that mm -hmm. uh, i've done that mistake a uh, number of years, you know, it both ways, you oh, know, yeah? both ways. So You've looked at some I'm guys probably saying. one of them sometimes that looks like that, but um, uh, yeah, no, everyone looks looks really good. Everyone looks engaged and, and um, you know, excited for the season. I, I know this might be too early, but do you ever think about your future? <laughs> I knew that question was coming. <laughs> um, of course I do, but um, I'm going to give you the most cliche answer right now. I'm in Edmonton right now, I want to win a Stanley Cup in Edmonton and, um, you know, we'll see what happens over the next two years. I, I don't think it's a cliche answer because I think you guys can win. Yeah. Like, like the thing about, like, obviously I don't know you and I don't know Connor that well, but the, the one thing I notice is, like, you can tell when someone really wants to win and you can tell when someone... You, you can't sometimes you can you can't tell if someone really wants to pay the price to win yeah and i look at the two of you guys and i can see you guys both burn to win yeah. and i think there's a recognition there that it can happen here yeah. and i've always felt as long as everybody believes they can win there it's not going to be a problem yeah is that a fair statement yeah i, I would think so for sure uh, i think um you know, you talked about Connor and me. We we want to win so badly. It's we've talked about we talk about it over and over again, and um, you know, we we want to do it. And um, but our whole organization wants to win, and that's the feeling that I love the most. You know, everyone that's around, the feeling that we have is about winning. And and you know, it's hard. It it will be really really hard to win next season. But you know, I I got all the belief and all the trust in our organization as a whole that we can get it done and and I get that same feeling from everyone in our organization and, and and that's a great feeling to have and that's the best starting point you you can have to to start a year if you get there if you do it how much of a factor do you think Matthias at home will be massive um he's you know he was probably the best trade deadline in addition all last year um you know <laughs> He, he was incredible for us all season long. I can't wait to have him for a full year. You know, he, he really rounds our team out and um, he, he's going to be a massive piece. You know, for, for the longest time, we've, we, we've always heard that, you know, when he was in Nashville and, and now with Edmondson, he's, he's the player that players look at and say, that's a good player. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What yeah. is it about him from your point of view? Because we can watch him and right. we see with our eyes, but you play. What is it? What it's is it his all-around hockey sense, the way he, he does the game, he, he, the way he anticipates, the way he sees the game, the way he um, reacts to the game. is just he's a pro and, and he knows what it takes to win and, and um, he knows he makes the right decision. It seems like 99 out of 100 times. Like it's, it's crazy. He's just so he, he makes no mistakes. So mm -hmm. uh, very, very lucky to have him. Um, I heard your dad's going to be able to make a trip this year because he's been trying to. Yeah. He's going to be spending some time with you. Yeah. What are you guys like when when you're together? I mean, I know you got games to play, but yeah. what are you guys like when you're together? Uh, yeah, just you know, he's a hockey guy, so yep. we talk we talk hockey, of course. But um, you know, sometimes it's just about you know catching up with the family. Obviously, I don't get to see everyone that much back home, and he's around. And my sister just, uh, had a newborn. Oh, so congratulations. Uh, yeah, thank you. Um, so just keeping me up to date a little bit and, um, yeah, just whatever, uh, whatever two hockey guys do, you know, do you play better when he's around? Do you think, uh, I don't, I don't know. He hasn't been, he hasn't been out that much. Right. Um, seem to be playing okay when he's not around <laughs> That's, that is true i have to you got me on that one <laughs> so um no but i definitely i love i love having my dad at at the games it's like because partly it's because it doesn't happen that much yeah. so when he's yeah. there i know how proud he gets and how how uh how proud he is of me and and you know trying to put on a bit of a show for him is uh you know something that i certainly love doing that's awesome uh that'll take us to our last question and, and you know whenever we get together i always love to ask you about um german hockey and your dad was a big piece and is a big piece of, of german hockey <clears throat> history 
Um, the World Championships, great for Germany. I think we, as much as we, everyone was crazy for Latvia, Germany was a, a wonderful story as yeah. well. Um, just give us a snapshot from your point of view on, on where hockey is at in Germany right now. I think worldwide, it's really, really good. Um, I think that you know, internationally, we, we we continue to play good tournaments. We continue to bring good players over to the NHL and players that play you know significant roles on good teams, and um, you need that. So, very excited about it. I'd love to uh, you know scramble together a team Germany and see what that team could look like in in an mm -hmm. international tournament. Do you know Dennis Schroeder at all? I do know him a little bit, yeah. Tell me, uh, yeah. he's a fascinating guy. Yeah, Tell me is. about this he's, guy. He's, he's interesting, yeah. he's uh, um, In Germany, we work out with the same trainer, so I, I have a little bit of insight on um, what kind of a guy he is, and I think he gets uh, maybe a little uh, misread sometimes, yeah. uh, at, at least in Germany. Um, you know, he, he does so much in his community, in his town back home, oh, and, yeah. and everyone knows him, and he, he has the time of day for every person around, so... Um, I think he's he's a great guy and, and obviously very very interesting dude. Now, did, was there any bets on the on the World Cup considering Canada and Germany both made the final four? Like, did you wager with anybody? No, no, I okay. didn't. I didn't really reach out to him. I gotta, I gotta, I, I gotta reach out to him here and uh, send him a congratulation text. Awesome. This has been great. Good luck this season. Thank you. Elliot's Thank you. already set the bar. <laughs> I like it. Thank set you. the bar as I'm sure you have. Thank as well. you. Thanks, Liam. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, guys.